Now, anybody will tell you who was there at the time that with the advent of Boris Johnson as Prime Minister and the huge victory against the slogan of get Brexit done, the atmosphere in the EU Parliament changed overnight. Up until that moment, there had been an underlying assumption that, well, you know, somehow we'd go for another extension, that we weren't actually terribly serious, that in the end, you know, we'd stay in the end. It was all a little blip. Suddenly the atmosphere changed. They realised, no, Britain's going. Now, I think this time what we need is to change the atmosphere at the negotiating table for them to understand that we're serious and we're going. Uh, well, we've already gone, but we're actually going to end the transition period when we said we were going to end it. We need to make them understand that we are deadly serious about that. And I think that will uh, uh, produce a change of attitude. They do not have an automatic right to fish in our waters. We can negotiate some rights for them. Why wouldn't we? But we control our own waters. They don't. Um, of course, we're not going to be bound by their law when we've left. Does their law bind Canada and America and all the other people they trade with? They've got to get it into their heads that we are independent, that we are not part of the EU anymore. And when that finally clicks, and it hasn't clicked yet with them, when that finally clicks, I think negotiations will proceed apace and we'll get some fairly sensible stuff. And of course, we will have to make the odd concession. That's what a negotiation is. Uh, but it's got to start from the understanding that they're dealing with a sovereign state.